Hi everyone. So today we are going to uh, start sharp ratio calculation, which we have already done in the last video. But in this video, I'm going to write a function which is gonna automate the calculation of sharp. So let's start. So again, I'm going to import libraries. NumPy, SNP, uh, import pandas underscore data reader as well from tabulate import tabulate alt enter. So you can find all the calculation what I have done in uh, in previous video. And now I'm going to automate the calculation. So first I'm going to define a function, let's say sharp ratio. So what are the elements or variable are required? stocks comma start date we need end date and we need risk free rate enter so i'm going to define a data frame pd dot data frame I'm also going to generate a separate data frame for return series. So it's data frame return, sorry. Now I'm going to run a loop for this. So for I, you can put any variable, I in stocks, data, which is I, each column is equal to web dot data reader stock name which is i in this case sorry start date sorry start is equal to start date and is equal to end date and of course adjusted close now we need to calculate return of the stock what we're gonna do here is we will again generate a new data series in a new data so we have already defined return of i is equal to data i dot percentage change okay Now we need to calculate cumulative return of I, which is equal to under bracket data I last value divided by data I first value minus one. And also we need to calculate the standard deviation of I, so which is equal to okay, in fact, we can do it in this way return of I dot STD in bracket multiply by NP dot SQRT of 
252 days. So I'm analyzing standard deviation here. Now we have sharp underscore i is equal to under bracket cumulative i minus risk free rate okay, divided by 100 whole divided by standard deviation of i. Now let's print sharp i. Alt enter. Now let's run it. Sharp ratio. So we need a stock. Let's pass a list. Apple FB comma start date 2020. Sorry. 2020-1-1. And day 2020, 2020-12-31, risk rate 2%, hold enter. Oops. So what's the mistake I have done here? Let's check. Data source, okay, 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 okay. okay. Here I have done one mistake. So data source, is equal to Yahoo. Now Alt Enter. Okay, no need to Alt Enter. Just simple run. And then. Okay. So since this is the sharp ratio of Apple and FB, we can also put it in this way. In just presentable way. So which is like print, tabulate, bracket, we need stock as a header, we need to show cumulative return, it's totally our call if we want to show it, we can show it here, if we don't want to put it here, we can ignore it, standard deviation, and sharp ratio. So it's going to be like stock, which is in I, cumulative return, there's in cumulative underscore I, standard deviation is SGD underscore I, and sharp is in sharp underscore I. Then we need to mention headers. First row, oops, uh, first row, let's put it in previous commas. Okay, uh, then let's run this. Okay, so let's put some space backslash n, perfect. We can also do one thing, we can also put cumulative return in percentage, so it will be like round, comma, four decimal into 100. Let me bring it to the next one. Okay, uh, round to four decimal into 100. Similarly, round, comma, four. Now I need to multiply it with 100. Perfect. We can also do one thing here. Uh, we can add percentage and just for, for the sake of presentation, or we can say n percentage, standard deviation in percentage. So let's run it now. Perfect. So thanks for watching this video. Hope it will solve a lot of uh, manual stuff. And let me just quickly run for Ford. 
let's see what's gonna happen perfect so that's it for today and thanks for your time please subscribe my channel thanks